What is good friends, we are Batman World World Cup, we got Alexander versus Poeg, this is Alex playing for Team Italy, Poeg playing for Team Spain, Alex went 3-0 on the first round, Poeg went 1-2, but this doesn't matter because like Poeg is really good, like both players can win obviously, like the score doesn't mean anything. I did miss a few games uh, today in the series between Spain and Italy, I think the score is 2-2 two two in a moment, I'll leave the link to the replays there of the games that I missed down below in the description, so you guys can check that out. And yeah, Alexander brought this um, Aurora Veil vale team. This is actually the team that I'm, I'm so sorry lol made. You basically set up uh, screens with Ninetales and then you have set up Pokemon like... I think it's Shift Gear, Comment, Magina. I don't remember correctly if it's 3 attacks Shift Gear or if it's 2 attacks Comment, Shift Gear. Then you... Um, yeah, this is his version with Manaphy. NJMP made a change to this team which was a Suicune over Manaphy and I like that change a lot. Um, I think this uh, lander is a Supersonic Sky Strike, Smackdown, Earthquake, Stealth Rocks. Tyranitar is Mega with Dragon Dance. Uh, Zygarde has like a Guav Berry, some berry that heals you 50% if you go to 25% with Dragon Dance, Coil, um, Thousand Arrows, and Extreme Speed. And Poik brings some balanced, bulky offense. It's either Scarf Greninja or Scarf Tran if he has a Scarfer. Uh, I assume it's Z-Move, Tapu Bulu, Defensive Mew, Spadef, or Fist Death, Celesteela, but probably Spadef, Celesteela. Um, I could see the trend being max speed, max HP with like, um... Tren is his only rocker other than Mew, and I think Mew has to be the defog on this team, because he's kind of weak to spikes. And I assume, like, Z-Move user can also be Zygarde, but I assume it's Tapu Bulu and Zygarde is banned. I like think the Lord is not as hot anymore. It's like um, eight in the evening now here in, um, in Germany. Earlier it was like five million degree, and it was un impossible to record any games. Like the heat. Like I got air conditioner and everything. The heat in my room is like impossible to handle. <laughs> but yeah, most of the time people just leave with nine tails with this team. <clears throat> um, the set on nine tails is I think hypnosis. Aurora Veil, vale. um, I think it has the light clay, so you have eight um, turns of screens. What else? What are the other two moves? Was it Freeze Dry and Hidden Power Fire, or was it Moonblast? I think it was Hidden Power Fire too. I don't remember correctly, because there was like multiple hail variants going around, and I haven't used this variant that much. Like I've used another hail team like a month ago, made by NJMP with like a Mega Mawa. <coughs> But yeah, if you poke, you obviously want to lead up with something that pressures the Ninetales or... So that's... I completely understand why Poeg is taking so long. He leads off with the Mana Fee. I don't know if he breaks the Dehedron, but this is nice for Alex. So this is Tail Glow, I think Ice Beam Energy Ball uh, Surf. Was it Surf or was it Scald? I think it's Surf. Yeah, and I think the McGinna has leftovers and the Mana Fee is the Z-Move mon on this team. At least on this variant. The variant with Sweet Queen, I think it's different. So he can go for Taglo here and potentially get a kill with the Mana Fee. Um, did I say 3 attacks Mana Fee? Because I'm pretty sure it's Rain Dance Mana Fee now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure it's Rain Dance, Tail goes 2 attacks. To get the speed boost, the rain dance can also help to get rid of status like poison. So I don't think Poig will go for toxic here because this has rain dance anyway to get rid of it. I can see Poig switching hard into Greninja or something like that. Or if he knows this um, Manaphy set and maybe this Manaphy doesn't have Ice Beam if it only has like Psychic and Surf. Maybe Tapu Bulu can live a hit but I, I, I doubt Tapu Bulu can live a hit at plus 3 so this is a um, nice position for Alex. Yeah, there's, the deadline is tomorrow, right, in the night, so we're gonna have a lot of games coming up, so you guys can stay tuned for that. Um, I know that I won't be able to catch them all, but if I remember, I'll always leave the link to the replay down below if I miss a game. Like, I'll mention it in the video if I leave a replay down below. Yeah, just, just go for Tail Glow, and I don't know if I agree with the Toxic play, because he's just gonna go for Rain Dance and get rid of the Toxic. I'm pretty sure Alex is just gonna go for Rain Dance. Um, 
he might just go, he might also go for Z Rain Dance to get the to get a speed boost so he can uh, outspeed everything on Poix team other than a Scarf Greninja. So this is I'm pretty sure yeah the C turn isn't Scarf we we see this now. I mean I was thinking it was a Scarf Grin in the first place, but T turn was a potential Scarfer. But I'm pretty sure it's like Toxic Stealth Rocks Trend. With Magma Storm and Earth Power, or maybe with Bloom Doom even. Even though I haven't seen Bloom Doom Heatran in forever. Like, Alex is either gonna go for like um, a water move here, like Surf, or he's gonna go for Rain Dance, I think. I don't, th I don't think he's doing anything else. I mean, I would probably just go for the Rain Dance to get rid of the Toxie. But Poix time is running really low, so he has to make the play like every every second. He goes hard on the Greninja, I think he's Choice Guard Greninja. And he takes the Surf. Um, if he's Ash Gren, he can maybe kill this man if he would expect Dark Pulse. But he should be Scarf Gren looking at his team. Unless he doesn't have a Scarfer. So he might just go for U-turn or like Gunk Shot if he's Scarf. Yeah, he can also flinch with Rock Slide, but I don't think that's the play. Like Scarf Grin can become clutch later in the game. Because I think it can potentially outspeed a plus 2 Tyranitar if it's Scarf. And get necessary damage off. But he is Ash Greninja. He does not get the flinch, he ice beams in case he wanted to U-turn out into the um, top of Bulu. And it's Aya Papa Berry Manaphy. I, see, I did not see that one coming. So he changed the team. He took off the Z-move of Manaphy and he gave the Z-move probably to the Zygarde or maybe to the Majorna, but probably to the... Oh, what up? Well, what am I saying? I said the Z-move Landris earlier. Yeah, I said the Z-move Landris earlier. I don't know what, what is wrong with me. <laughs> But I know there was a very Manaphy that didn't have Z-move on Landris that had Z-move on Manaphy. But I think the variant with 3 of a Manaphy has Z-move on Landris. I'm not sure about this variant. It's obviously not... We saw it's Aya Papa, so it's obviously gonna be um, Z-move on a different one. I think on Land or Zygarde. But yeah, that was a bit irritating. I have to... <laughs> I have to say that. Not sure if this is... Um, if it's Max Spadev, the Celesteel, I can live a hit, yeah. So he might just go for a Leech Seed here. If Alex has uh, Rainance on this, it's gonna be really nice for him. But Lord, his timer is so low. He switches out on the Landris. Um, so he probably didn't have Rainance? I don't know. Oh, he just didn't want to take the leech. So he's gonna get up a Stealth Rocks here. Or double switch out. Like, Poig is not staying in here, I think. It's pretty obvious that this has Smackdown. I mean, he can stay in for one turn if he wants, but I'm pretty sure he will just go hard into Mew to either debug the rocks away or to threaten this out with a potential Ice Beam. Another option would be. Yeah, okay, yeah, he just makes the Mew play. Yeah, I think he's just gonna defog the rocks away here. Not sure if I would have stayed in there if I was Alex because he just took the lead seat damage and Mew gets rid of the rocks anyway afterwards. Is he gonna go nine tails and get up the screens? Yeah, exactly. Cause like he doesn't want to switch anything else and I don't think so. So is that gonna Aurora Veil or go for hypnosis here? He does miss a hypnosis or whelp. He might not have. I don't know. He might not want to go. Like, the reason why he might not have gone for the Aurora Veil is because the Defog can. I, th I think you can Defog away the Aurora Veil, right? The screams. So, like, you can only set up Aurora Veil as long as the hail is up. And if the Mew stays in, it could have uh, tried to Defog them away. 
And if the hill runs out, you can set him up back. So I can somewhat understand this play. But yeah, Heatron is just gonna go for a Magma Storm or Toxic here. Yeah, I don't think this is HP Ground. I have actually seen HP Ground. Was this, did I say HP Fire earlier? The thing is that level 9 is pretty weak, like HP Ground, I've seen it do like 40 something to trend. But he gets up the Aurora Veil as Poix was up the rocks. He does hit it at Pnosis. I thought he would go for Toxic or Magma, but he just rubbed the rocks, which is understandable too. So I think Alexander will go into like Zygar or something to set up now, or uh, Tyranitar. So I can see Poik trying to switch to something that pressures those. You can obviously try to stay in a Toxic and hope for a first turn wake. A first turn wake would be really nice for Poik here, but he does switch in a Mew. Pro potentially expecting a Zygarde because he can Ice Beam or Willow with that. But yeah, he can't just go for Willow Wisp here because it's not like Alexander can stay in. So he's go he goes on the Mana Fee, but this is fine for Poik. Like, screen turns are getting wasted. Mana Fee has to take Rocks and Poison. Sandstorm gets cancelled out by the. Uh, actually, never mind, doesn't have lefties. We saw it's Ayapapa Berry earlier. Ayapapa, however, however you pronounce that. But yeah, I like how Polk is playing this. He was not Scarf Good Ninja, so I'm wondering if he doesn't have a Scarf or if he's like a random, or if he's like a surprise Scarf or like type of Bulu or Zyga that you would never expect. So this time he's just gonna get off damage. The thing is, if Poik has Protect on his Celestia, his Manaphy just dies. I think Manaphy would die to Sandstorm plus Toxic. If this has Protect. If he doesn't have Protect, he might also try to pivot into Tapu Bulu to take the Surf. But I, if, like, if he's with Death Status Dealer, he can lift the hit anyway, so he can just stay in. He is Protect, and it's looking really good for Poik. He gets rid of this uh, Manaphy. As long as he has his Mew, which is like really annoying for Alex, because he can will with the Tita. He can will with the Zygarde. Poik is in a really good position, like... Go down to Landris and he's gonna set up the rocks or go for Smackdown. So if you poke here, you either go for Leech Seed or. Did he, he already revealed rocks with this, right? He did. Yeah, he just goes for Leech Seed. I can see uh, Alex switching out here and Poik predicting that and going for a double Leech Seed. Oh, my computer's about to die. It's my charger. He does just have his slam. I did not think that he would stay in with the Landros. Because the lead sheet and the heavy slam damage is going to bring him really low. But yeah, it's just going to go for off quick here because it does get good, of, good damage off. Uh, Poi goes into Zygarde, I would have thought he would potentially have gone into Tapu Bulu instead, but this is fine. And he goes for E-Speed, he's probably choice Bandit Zygarde, yeah. 
So he does have priority on Zygat and uh, E-Speed, he does have priority on Greninja and Water Shuriken. But it's still weird that he doesn't have a Scarfer. I just like to always have one Scarfer at least. Most of the time. But it's been working out really well for Pogs so far, I can't say anything. Ninetales is healthy enough to live a bandit E-Speed, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think Alexander's best way of winning is Magina behind screens. If he's bolt beam Magina, he can yeah he has a shot, but it's gonna be tough. So he tries to set up with the T tier first. Um, it's smart in the sense that Mew can only Mew can only Willowist Mew can only outspeed this if it's at a neutral. But if he dragons this up, he outspeeds the Mew. He's gonna do a lot of damage to the Mew. And if the Mew dies, if the Mew dies from Poex side to, to will the T-Tar, he would get 2-hit KO'd, I'm pretty sure. Um, then the Zygote can potentially become a threat. Because Poex's best check to Zygote is the top of Bulu and the Mew, right? So if Mew goes down, he only has top of Bulu to check it. And if the Zygote gets coils up, it can potentially beat the top of Bulu one-on-one -on -one if the top of Bulu doesn't have sword stance, especially. But I'm thinking Tabu Bulu should have Sword Stance and be Z move on his team. But we will see what happens. I think Poix still has the advantage. So they both go for Dragnance as Poix shows this is Z move Zygarde. So this game is over, Poix just wins. He's just gonna um, run the Kalk if Thousand Arrows kills, and if Thousand Arrows doesn't kill, he might go for Z move. But I'm pretty sure Thousand Arrows kills the Tita from 76, right? Because he doesn't have Aurora Veil up. Yeah, Alexander, I assumed this was a choice, Bennett. I was thinking the same. And Poet got him good. He sacks off the Ninetales to get some chip damage with the Hail. He goes on his own Zygarde. But if this is Z move, if this is Z move, which uh, should be, this is getting blown away by the Z move. There's the Z move. Devastating Drake gonna blow the Zygarde into the next dimension, and Poig picks up the win for Team Spain. A really cool game. As Majuna dies to a thousand arrows, and so does Tita. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you with more World Cup coverage later on and yeah thank you for stay tuned for more content i don't know why i said to try thank you for watching and yeah it was a cool game i did not see this coming that this is the z move user so maybe the type of bull was scarf then i'm not sure that could be a, an option but it was a fun game i'll leave the replay um replays to the games that i missed down below and I'll see you later. Have a nice day.